guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today, if you didn't already tell by the title, we're gonna be talking through what is in my carry-on bag for the plane, my personal item. Tomorrow, I am going to New York City. I am so excited, but today is the day for packing so i've just been packing my small personal item bag i say small it's not that small and then after this video i'm gonna pack my whole like big suitcase so you can go and watch that other video new york city pack with me i'll link it in the description so we are flying direct from auckland to jfk and that is gonna be an intense flight it's 16 and a quarter hours there and then I think on the way back it's like nearly 18 hours because of I don't know the wind <laughs> I'm not really sure why it's different each way but the way back is even longer so the way there is like just under 17 hours sat on one plane in one seat I'm a bit concerned I'm a bit nervous about this flight but I'll let you know how it goes. I felt like it's quite important to have everything I might need with me, things to refresh myself with, things to stay awake with, because the time difference is really weird. We leave here at 7pm New Zealand time and we land at JFK at 7.15pm the same day, but we've been on a plane for 17 hours. So we land with a 15 minute difference, but we've been on the plane for 17 hours. It's a really, it's a bit of a... So we've worked out that we can sleep when we get on the flight for like the first five hours. And then after that, we have to try and stay awake so that when we land and when we get to our hotel, we can go straight to sleep and we're tired enough that we sleep through the night and get ahead on the jet lag. But I don't know if it works like this. Without further ado, Let's get into it. This is my bag of choice for the plane. Reason being, we're going to New York not just for like a leisure trip, but also for work. My boyfriend started, a started up a company doing conferences and it's his first conference in New York. So we're both going to work. So two of the days that we're there, we're definitely gonna be working, probably like prepping for the first two days, working the next two. And then after that, we have some free time. So I figured I need a kind of corporate -y bag because it's quite a corporate -y conference. I've got a corporate outfit. I need a corporate bag and I don't have one. Plus I needed one for work anyway here. So two birds, one stone. I bought this legendary bag from Kmart and it was $22 New Zealand dollars that's like 11 pounds mental insane for this bag here it is on me so it's quite big ish it's like oh god I can't <laughs> it's this size right so since I've been backpacking the way I like to pack is in lots of small like bags within a bag i think it keeps your stuff really organized it means in the plane you're not like pulling everything out searching through everything like you kind of know where everything is and it's quite simple and straightforward to access things because they're not things aren't all loose in your bag so oh it's making a lot of noise we'll find out what that is in a second so we start with my water bottle my water bottle's on top it's empty so i can fill it up at the airport once we're through security because obviously it can't take that much water through security i need a water bottle for the plane and also for when we're actually in new york like walking around i want to take a reusable water bottle with me so that's just sitting on the top and then inside this came with this bag okay this is why i was so shocked at the price look at that it's like a whole laptop case with a front pocket. What a dream, black and gold, looks really corporate, love it. And I've made use of it like a packing cube, like I said. So in the front pocket, I am taking a Sudoku book. You can't have a long flight without a Sudoku or a crossword. Ollie and I are both gonna share this, do some puzzles together. I'm very excited for that entertainment in-flight entertainment when you're sick of watching a screen then next up we've got a notebook just for like i, mean, I don't know why do i need a notebook i thought i need paper and pen i need a paper and pen pen's in here by the way 
pens in there sudoku book i feel like you can play that game from primary school where it's like squares and you could play i don't know hangman um noughts and crosses loads of games you can play with paper and pen who knows you know i think paper and pen always comes in handy so they go in the little front pocket here which has a little magnet popper and then in this zipped part it's not my laptop because i have another laptop case which is in there but <laughs> we have my pair of comfy warm socks these aren't my comfiest but i don't really have any like bed socks with me in new zealand i didn't want to buy some just for one flight i thought it was silly so i've got my piggy socks plus ollie has them and i'm hoping i can wear his but i'm waiting to see if he packs them and if not i'll pack them in my bag warm socks for the flight a little section of sleeping things so this is my inflatable travel pillow da 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 you just blow it up stick it round your neck off you go to sleep i actually don't really use this around my neck but i tend to use it like on ollie's shoulder or um against the window although i don't know if we i don't think we have window seats i don't think we do so that's quite sad and then in here this is my little sleep mask bag which i keep my sleep mask in which is an absolute essential for me especially on a flight when like different people have their lights on lights off you want to sleep when you want to sleep and i thought i'd pack in here as well because it's all to do with sleep earplugs so i've got little earplugs because recently i've really been struggling with the noise and i feel like on a plane that's a big problem so i think this is going to help so i don't have ollie's got air what are they called airpods airpods that noise cancelling which are great but i don't have any so this is what I'm going for. Okay, next in here we have my book. I'm gonna use this as soon as I get on the plane. I'm gonna start reading so that I switch my mind off and it helps me go to sleep for those first five hours because that is the only time we can sleep. So I wanna like, can you tell that I'm like, this is super organized of the year, love a plan. Not many people are with me on this, but I am regimented with my plans. So book to get to sleep for the first little bit. Then I've also packed our world adapter plug. So this will plug into any, like any socket basically. New Zealand plug to charge things and then it's got a USB-C hole, USB, normal USB holes and then like every plug you can imagine. So that is really useful for charging things in the airport, not so much on a plane. Then I've got my little case of headphones and in here I've got three pairs of headphones, would you believe it? I've got my Bluetooth headphones in this little pouch, my plug-in headphones for my phone, and then I've got my plug-in headphones for, these are for the plane entertainment system, like they'll plug into a normal plug socket for headphones. So covering all bases with three pairs of headphones. So that's my little case of headphones. Last thing in here, this is a, looks a bit odd, but it's a toothbrush holder because I'm gonna take my toothbrush, obviously it's not in there because I still need to use it, but I'm gonna put my toothbrush in there so that I can refresh myself on the plane if I want to and brush my teeth. And last but not least, I'm not gonna show you them, but I've got a pair of pants <laughs> just in case. And we're touching wood and crossing all our fingers just in case, uh, people say you should do it in case your luggage gets lost because then at least you've got a spare pair of pants to change into the next like within the first 24 hours when you land if your bag doesn't arrive i don't know if taking a pair of pants is like jinxing it and just making it happen but i've got a pair of pants i mean we're 17 hours on the flight by the time i get off the flight i want to change my pants probably anyway <sighs> i'm talking about my pants too much okay so that is that little bag oh that just zips up and pops nicely straight into my bag next up we have my laptop i don't need to show you or talk much about this it's just my laptop that's going in there because i'm going to edit probably this video on the plane journey i've got 17 hours to kill like why not then in front of those two little sections we've got some pizza pretzels maybe i'll do the snacks later and you haven't seen them yet okay 
Then we have another little bag. As I say, I like to keep the bag in a bag in a bag. Um, this is a bag of all my electricals. So I've got two USB chargers, portable charger, hard drive, and my, what's that called? Like adapter plug thing. Yeah, so just my electronics, my cables. Then I've got my liquids bag where I have got a face mask. I am taking a face mask on this plane because that is what you're supposed to do these days. And it's a long old journey. Have a little pamper halfway through, something else to do. I'm a bit nervous because the mask has, my friend actually gave me this mask and it says it has oil in it. And I don't know if oil is going to be good for my skin. I don't really know. I may buy a different mask before we go because I've got some time, so we'll see. And then what else is in my liquids bag? I've got makeup wipes just to give my face like a refresh when I wake up from my sleep so I can, yeah, feel a bit fresher and also wake myself up because I have a feeling the lights are still gonna be off when I wake up. I'm gonna have to try and stay awake even though my body's gonna be dying to go back to sleep. So that is gonna hopefully help me stay awake. Along those lines as well, I have this eye cream, which is a Charlotte Tilbury number called Cryo Recovery Eye Serum, Ice Awake. And it has caffeine in it, uh, apparently. So this, I'm thinking is also gonna help me stay awake. Apparently it has caffeine in it. I'm gonna put it under my eyes, put it around my eyes. I'll still use my little makeup wipes and my mask. I'm gonna hydrate my eyes with this and also my whole face with my little tub of moisturizer, which I filled up with just my normal moisturizer. I bought it from Kmart, this little pot, and then I just filled it with my normal moisturizer because I didn't wanna waste. And it's a reusable little pot. Next up, another moisturizer, we've got a little chapstick. So this little chapstick, Oh my god, it smells so good. It's like strawberry flavoured. We bought this in the South Island when we it was so cold and our lips got really dry, so we bought it then. This is just part of the rehydration situation. Maybe it'll keep me awake with the strawberry scent just awakening my senses. And then another one to keep me awake, I brought a hand cream. My work colleague actually gave me this the other day. It's like nothing in here I've actually bought myself. Citrus Bliss Hand Lotion, a light uplifting lotion infused with essential oils. So it's supposed to be really natural and the scent is, oh, so good. It's citrus, so I feel like that is a wake me up kind of a scent. Just really looking forward to using my hand sanitizer and then my hand cream, lovely. And we've just got some lovely scents in there to wake me up. And then the all important toothpaste because there's no point taking my toothbrush if I don't have my toothpaste and I wanna be able to brush my teeth on the plane. So there we go. Of course, me being me, I have to pack this in a certain order. So we go face mask facing that way, wipes facing this way, in the bag we go so that we can see from both sides what we've got in there. Then next up, we go for the toothpaste at the bottom because I think I'll use that like near the end of the flight. Hand sun and hand cream on top of them. And then we just stick the eye cream, chapstick and my little moisturizer pot in there. And we're good to go. Zip it up and that is my liquids bag for the airport. That is my only liquids bag in all my hand luggage. Now, all we have left is the most exciting part. Obviously, it's a 17 hour flight. I'm gonna need some snacks. So this is 100% the bit I was most excited to go to the shops and buy and pick and choose. And oh, I can't wait to tell you what I've chosen. <laughs> so again, bag in a bag scenario. <laughs> This is just an old plastic bag I'm using to put my snacks in so that again to reach in and take my snacks out I just take this bag and then all my snacks are there and in here we have two little cereal bars. They are delicious and they are going to be my snack for like a breakfasty kind of a snack I guess. Two of them, just in case. Probably don't need to, but got to. And then we've got two little packs of these. I was trying to go like slightly healthy on the snacks, like not completely terrible, but 
it's quite hard because all you can take you can't take like apples you can't take like fresh food it's got to be dry food so anyway we've got these skinny dip almonds by graze yes yeah, slightly healthy and nuts fill you up right they're a little bit more filling than other things so i thought i'd give them a go then we've got to wake me up <laughs> harry bow happy peaches is that what they're called? Happy Beaches. Yum! I think these are going to be so delicious. I'm not really a sweets person, but if I am, it's a tangfastic moment for sure. Um, these are not tangfastic, but they're tangy, I hope. Yeah, I mean, they've got to be right. And then, last but not least, I have got these pizza flavoured pretzels. They're just cheap from Pam's but I think they sound delicious. There's something like pretzels are a little bit more filling than just like, I was tempted by Pringles, but you just gobble through a whole pack in seconds. So I'm hoping these last a bit longer and they sound a bit more interesting, a little bit more like savory and something more to them. And then um, there is actually, Ollie's also got another bag of like, they're like chickpea crisps and they're sweet chili fried. I think sweet chili and sriracha which sounds great haven't tried either of them before so i hope it's not a risk that i regret taking but um yeah so snacks snacks snacky snacks for the plane bish bash bosh that's the bag packed and then i cheated a little bit because usually you're allowed like a hand luggage bag and then like a tiny little handbag as well so i've also got my little travel handbag this has come in so much use honestly it's my most used thing that i bought for my travel trip i'd say of everything except maybe my trainers this is great it's by a brand called le sport sack le sport sack i found it in tk max back in the uk it's got so many pockets it's just so useful so we have this front zip pocket which has in it ah oh no <laughs> this is cute my two little crystals from ollie's mum she gave these to to us i can't remember what they mean but it's like rose quartz and something else it's like health and safety <laughs> and that's all that i've got in that front little pocket and then this unpops here so i've got another little pocket in here i've got two peppermint tea tea bags for the plane in case they don't have flavored tea sometimes they just have normal tea or coffee um, so I thought I can just get hot water and then put my own tea bags in there to have a nice peppermint tea. I'm really excited that I thought of that because I feel like that is going to really take my flight experience to the next level. And then we go into the main pocket and in here there are still loads of pockets. So we have a little flap here and in there I keep my passport. Then in the main central compartment, I have my little purse. This is my purse that I took backpacking with me. I think it's so cute because I found this in a charity shop for like two pounds before I went. And it's so cute because you've got room for a little photo in the front. So I've got a little picture of my grandma and me when I was a baby. Oh, I love it. Um, and then in my little compartments, this one, card holder, fantastic and this one has nothing in it because it's for cash and I don't have any cash <laughs> I've also randomly got a padlock in here I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using that but I just thought if we're leaving things in a hotel room or our Airbnb and we want to lock it up then we've got a padlock to do that with and then I have a little pocket little net um pocket here which I've got a packet of tissues in just absolutely essential anywhere I go and oh that's what smells so good some chewing gum and i actually picked this up at the shop the other day i didn't realize it was like cheaper than some of the others and i was like oh great i'll get that pack i didn't realize it's so old school it's like the little strips i don't even know if they sell these in the uk anymore so cute so i'm quite excited about that little that little, little pack of gum and that is my nice little airport bag i'm sure i'll put my boarding pass in there and my phone obviously and then we are good to go so that is actually like separate that's gonna also go with my shoulder as well as this bag and then last but not least these don't really fit in either of my bags i'm sure i could probably squeeze them in one of them or put them in ollie's but i bought some little snacks for the flight attendants because i figured 
they've got a 17 hour flight to work like they're actually working and even if i guess i assume there's going to be like two teams of them on but even when they're not working like they've got to sit on a plane and just be there so you know that kind of sucks for them so i thought i'd get them some sweets my cousin's actually a, an air steward and she told me i should do this so that's mainly why i did it but i thought it was a really nice idea and she said someone bought that her sweets the other day and it was just so extra nice so i bought two packets of sweets these are lolly scramble pascal lolly scramble with loads of different like little wrapped sweets i thought that was kind of hygienic if they're all sharing i don't know um and then these i couldn't resist pascal jet planes so on brand <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen is everything that i am taking with me on my 17 hour flight i think i've packed quite light for 17 hours sat in the same seat like that is gonna that bag is gonna keep me entertained the whole way perfect so there we go that is everything i have packed for my 17 hour flight to new york city if you're interested to see what i'm packing in my main suitcase for my trip to new york make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you see the video that's coming out next week thank you so much for watching and goodbye